Marjorie Taylor Greene expelled from her committee assignments this morning. She gave what is being called a press conference, and I'm just not sure if that's the right term. Let's just get into it. Is this on? Hello, hello. It's recording. It's recording. Oh, it's recording. Yeah, it's going okay. on. Thank, thank you for letting me know. Well, first off, thank you all for uh, thank you for coming out here today and being willing to hear what I have to say. Um, she, she's absolutely repulsive. I mean, it's I have a visceral reaction to her. It, it's it's I, I find this woman disgusting in every way. I just want you to know that for the press, I, I truly support freedom of press. I think it's one of the things that makes our country so great. And and again, that's one of those things where like it's meaningless. You know, we have a First Amendment. What does it mean that she it's sort of like saying I support the rules of gravity? What? What? OK, but it's it, we, you. Who are you? We have a First Amendment in this country. Um, I really hope that you'll be able to tell my story a little bit better instead of just reporting and repeating uh, maybe some things that you don't like about me or things that were on social media in 2018. You see, the reason why I ran for Congress is because I really don't respect what our government has become. As just an ordinary American, someone who's had to work hard all my life, someone who's been married for almost 25 years and raised three kids. Like, how is it relevant how many kids she has or, or her marriage? when she's talking about Jewish space lasers, denying 9-11, saying you can't swear an oath on a Quran. How what, what I, I don't care if she has 20 kids or none. I got to tell you, my three kids are the greatest part of my life. That's the best thing I've ever done is to be a mom. OK, I really love our country. I love our freedoms and I sincerely want all of your children, my children and all of us to continue to have the opportunity to have the American dream. But our government is failing us. You see, we're approaching nearly 30 trillion dollars in debt. Oh, my God. Debt. I told you guys when when Biden won, which we knew on November 8th, by the way, I know some people were like, oh, no, December 14th and then safe harbor. And blah, 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 blah. no, we knew on November 8th. I said these Republicans who haven't cared about the debt and deficit under Trump, they're going to start talking about the debt and here's the debt. What about the Jewish space laser, Margie? As a successful business owner for over 20 years, if I ran my company the way this government runs and spends and wastes and puts us in debt with our own hard earned tax dollars, I'd be out of business a long time ago. The country isn't a business. The country isn't a household. Any analogies can households print money? Can households uh, uh, affect the economy wide interest rate? Can households take actions that affect um, uh, trade. This is it's idiotic. The in any analogy between a household budget or a business budget, the, these are ridiculous analogies when we'd be homeless on the streets. But it's much worse than that. For decades now, this government has sold out our American worker, sent our jobs overseas to foreign countries. So generic Trumpian populist rhetoric, again, unrelated to why she was expelled. Trees. We've opened our borders wide open to be flooded with illegals. No, we haven't. That's that's just not true. Coming into our it's weird because Trump just finished running on how undocumented immigration was down to a record low. Is she arguing that in the last 14 days under Biden, it's now the borders are open? I mean, like, what is she even arguing? Because she supported the guy who says it's the lowest it's been in a long time. For our country. Think about Kate Steinle, who was murdered on a pier in California. She died in her father's arms. Krisha Odette, her father served our country four tours, four tours in the Middle East, protecting our freedoms. When he came back home, his daughter this is crazy. was killed by an illegal alien in Texas. These are the things that shouldn't happen, but these are the policies that are allowed and continued. Our country has made it legal and funded with our tax dollars over 62 million. Is this about abortions? Is this where she's going? Abortions, murdering God's creation in the womb. That is a sin. A dis I, I'm her response to being removed from committees should get her removed from the house. Disgusting evil 
that is unfathomable. I can't even believe that it continues. But here's the thing. All of these women that have gone through that, it leaves a hole in their soul that never heals. How can she speak to how every woman who's ever had an abortion feels? It's ridiculous. It's insulting. What is she talking about? And those women have been taught that this is the way that they should achieve. This is the way they can build a career. This is a way that they can solve the problem that they didn't want in the first place. That's a horrible lie. It's a I don't even know what argument she's making now. Terrible lie. As a mother and a woman who's had a successful career, I can tell you being a mom is the greatest gift of my life. I really hope that America. It's weird because she's she just was talking about freedom and now she's saying her view on motherhood should be imposed on every woman. What? And end the evil of abortion. I also want you to know that free speech matters. Free speech really matters. And yesterday, when the Democrats and 11 of my Republican colleagues decided to strip me of my committee assignments, education and labor and the budget committee. Yeah. You know what they did? They actually stripped my district of their voice. No, they didn't. You still represent that district, at least until November of 2020. Does anybody who's not on the committee not represent their constituents? That's an idiotic argument. They stripped my voters of having representation to work for them for the budget. That's so 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 basically only the only people who have representation on budget are people whose elected officials are on that committee. So, so that means most of the country is unrepresented when it comes to budget. This is a deplorable woman, a successful business owner that knows how to make a profit, not a loss. Yeah, we need we need more business approaches brought into government. We saw how well that went with Trump. That's what my district voted for me for. I'm a mom with three kids who has taken my children to gun free school zones <laughs> their entire time they went to school. <laughs> and when I was in 11th grade at 16 years old, when Joe Biden created gun free school zones, one of my schoolmates brought three guns to school on a school bus in a duffel bag, brought them into the school in the first period class because he was very upset at two of his classmates. And none of the other kids had guns to defend themselves with, thanks to Joe Biden. He pulled out his weapon, went to take control. The coach in the classroom knocked him to the floor, but he was able to reach in and get another one of his guns, fired his weapon, took control of our school, and we were held hostage in our classrooms for five hours. I want you to know, I know that fear that David Hogg felt. It's terrifying. It's Is she talking about the fear when she was chasing him around or the fear at the Parkland school? It's terrifying when the only person in the building with a gun is very upset and is there to do evil. And there's no good guy with any guns to protect us. That's why when I was in Washington, I could go from Senate office to Senate office, just like David Hogg and say, vote no to gun control because we need our Second Amendment rights. We need to be able to protect our children with good guys with guns, <laughs> just like the people up here. What is happening? Protected themselves with 30,000 National Guard troops. The troops were there to protect people from Trumpist rioters. Imagine that they want to leave our children defenseless, but they will surround this place with a big, beautiful border wall and a whole bunch of good guys with guns. See, these are the policies that disgust me. These are the policies that discuss guys. I'm not going to lie. I don't know that I can do another 15 minutes of this. The American people. And these are the policies of hypocrites. You see, when the people in charge want to just spend your money and spend your money and you have no choice but to give it to them. And believe me, I've been a good taxpayer for years now and I always will be. And then they want to send our hard earned dollars over to. Is she good? Does any is, has anybody who's watched this? Can you tell me whether she actually addresses like the things she was expelled from committees for saying? Does it does it, is it is there any point at which she actually talks about that? Foreign nations and so-called foreign aid to fund things like border walls and bridges and schools and roads and abortion. That's wrong. <laughs> she doesn't. Our oh tax boy. dollars should stay here in America. Oh, she answers our questions. Tax dollars should fund our border wall, our bridges, our schools 
our roads. She calls on OAN. All right. Homeless. They should help our people. I'll stick with it. Our forgotten, our orphans, our foster care children. That's what our hard-earned tax dollars should be doing. Not what these people here have been doing for decades. The, those that are in charge have been here for decades. Decades. Do you know the average age of retirement? It's around 64, 65 years old in the private sector. But not here in Congress. They cling to power as long as they can. You can actually hear military drills in the background. Because apparently it's addictive and they can't give it up. This is That's fair. Yeah, let's speed it up to 1.25 at least to chop a little time off of it. Something that I just can't tolerate. I can't take it. And the American people are so sick of it. You see, a record number of Americans voted for President Trump. Record number of Republicans voted for President Trump. Do you want to know why? It's because they loved his policies. They loved his fight. They love the fact that for once we had a president that stood up for America, stood up for American businesses, and remembered the forgotten man. He was a president that didn't care about your skin color because God created us all equal. And this is so nuts. Like she still hasn't addressed why she got kicked out of the committees. Thank God our constitution affirms that. He was a president that wanted every single person to achieve. And that's why we supported him. That's why I've always supported him. And I wanna tell you, Republican voters support him still. The party is his. It doesn't belong to anybody else. <laughs> this impeachment trial that's going to happen next week is oh, a no. circus. It's a circus that allows media companies to get lots of clicks, lots of views, and sell ad dollars. And you know what? That's pretty disgusting too. Everyone here knows that he did not cause this attack on the Capitol, nor did I, nor did any Republican, but the responsibility falls squarely on those that invaded the Capitol. The uh oh, Kiwa mom is starting to ferment. Ones that planned it ahead of time. Those are the people that should be held accountable. I was in the chamber, unlike AOC, Representative Ocasio-Cortez, that faked her outrage with another hoax, just another hoax that gets shared everywhere. You see, those kind of fake lies, like AOC, fake lies. Representative Cori Bush telling people that I attacked her when in fact it was on video that she attacked me. This is the kind of fake outrage that is dividing our Congress, along with the fake outrage on the news every single day that's dividing our people. I don't know, guys. Uh, I was glad she was kicked off the committees. But after seeing this, it's making me doubt whether that was the right decision. She sounds totally reasonable. You know what the media does? And you guys are great at it. And I'm telling you this because I want to like you. But you're doing a really good job at addicting our nation to hate, teaching people to hate people like me, President Trump. And then on the right, it's the same way. Teaching people to hate AOC, Ilhan Omar, Nancy Pelosi. See, it goes both ways, doesn't it? <laughs> Well, she's doing that. She went into the halls of Congress and tried to demand that uh, Ilhan Omar re swear an oath on a Bible rather than the Quran. Addicting that came from a place of love, of course. To it is killing our country. It's causing people to no longer be friends, families to no longer talk to each other, even husband and wives getting divorced, parents not talking to their children, and the other way around. I think that's terrible and it's shameful. When you have such a platform as you have, what do you want your legacy to be? Do you want your legacy to be the platform that destroyed our nation and caused our people to hate one another? Or would you rather be a platform that told the truth because you're given the great gift, the freedom of press so that you can tell the truth? I would yeah, right after I, I like the super chat right after this press conference, she went back in and asked to speak to the manager of Congress about the expulsion. Love for you to be that platform. And I would be so proud of you. I wouldn't be mad at any of you. I had the greatest opportunity yesterday and I'm so grateful for it. I got to say what I had done wrong. And do you know how freeing that is? And what was that? I'm not kidding. It, I, I seriously feel blessed by God because I got to do it on a world stage. I got to say, I said things wrong. I believe things that were wrong. And you know what? You know, I'm, I'm so happy I got to do that. My district is thrilled with me. People are all over the country are thankful and supporting me. Country loves that, it. I'm grateful to them. None of us are perfect. And when we, when we go about our life thinking that we are, we're such hypocrites. Truthfully, we really are. If we think we're perfect, we can judge one another. That's such a mistake. So going forward, I like how she's going into the conclusion phase, but so far she still hasn't actually said anything Been freed. I do. I feel free because you know what's happening on these committees liberated. See, we have a basically a tyrannically controlled government. Right oh, now. is she doing the I didn't I don't even want to be on the committees anyway. Take your take your ball and go home. Now. The Democrats, we've got Joe Biden writing executive order after executive order, sign him, sign him, sign him. 
doing whatever he wants up there in the White House. We have Nancy Pelosi leading the Democrats in Congress to do whatever the bail bond links to get the criminals out of jail. But they want to kick me off committees for social media posts. She mistakenly believed that the Jews controlled the lasers when it was really only Hasidic Jews. And she incorrectly included reform and conservative Jews in that. That were conspiracy theories. That's pretty hypocritical. You see, the American people won't forget because they're still reeling from the devastation of this past year where cities were burned, people were attacked, police officers still dealing with it, attacked night after night. They take that home with them and it hurts their families. Occupying federal buildings, taking over police precincts, so much damage, tearing down statues and monuments, erasing our history. This is what when's the last time a statue or monument was was even damaged? This happened. I do not condone what happened on January. Other than what Trump is did at the Capitol, of course. January 6 was one of the scariest days of my life next to being held hostage in a gun free school zone when one of my student, one of my fellow students took it over with a gun and no one protected us. No one could. It was terrible. So I'm going to ask all of you think about what you report. Who is this? Who is she to tell the media how to behave? This woman has no idea about anything. When you're on the news calling riots, peaceful protest, the American people are disgusted with you because you're lying. That's what Trump did at every single one of his uh, rallies, didn't he? When you're promoting people that protect these things and want to continue it, people are sick of it. They're fed up because they lost their businesses and they may have gotten hurt and they're tired of being attacked because they want to wear a red hat that says make America great again or they voted for Trump and we're proud of it. Things have got to change. And I tell you again, I'm fine with being kicked off of my committees because it'd be a waste of my time. She didn't want him anyway. Very hard worker and I'm proud of it. So now I have a lot of free time on my hands, which means I can talk to a whole lot more people all over this country and I can talk to more people and make connections and build a huge amount of support that I've already got started with people that want to put America first and don't care about the party lines and don't care about any of the political identities. Who is she talking about? Involved. And that's something that I am very excited about. So I look forward to going home and seeing people in my district. I'm thankful and overwhelmed by their support. I'm grateful that I had the opportunity to say the things that I don't believe and I shouldn't have said in the first place. And and I'm really grateful to my God because he forgives me. And that's what being a Christian is all about. I have a message to other Christians in this country. Right. Don't be lukewarm. That's not what your faith is for. Our Savior died on a cross so your sins can be forgiven. And he oh my goodness. doesn't want you to be quiet about it. He wants you to share the gospel and share it with everyone. That being said, I'm going to let you guys go about your day. I know you got many things. Yeah, I'll take some questions. Yeah. I know you talked yesterday. I listened to your speech. But you said on the video in January 2019, I'm just going to read it to you verbatim. You said it's been taken out of the Who are you with? What's your name? I'm Jessica Bean. By our law, representatives and senators can be kicked out and no longer serve in our government. And it's. Let me actually go to one X just so we can really hear the questions now. This I, I actually want to hear this. The crime punishable by death is what treason is. This is what you said. Did you see my did you see my speech yesterday? I, how many how many stories did you report on Russian collusion conspiracy lies? No, I want to. So she's not answering. OK. No, have you apologized for Russian collusion conspiracy lies? Have you? See, it's like, why does the reporter have to answer her questions? She's she decided to take questions. Why is she asking the reporter questions? I, I don't have to. I. So she's saying she doesn't have to answer questions. She's here on a press conference, but she doesn't have to answer questions. Oh, well. I think you heard my speech yesterday. You owe the people an apology. You lied about President Trump. You owe the people an apology. Wow. I've done mine yesterday. Mental illness. Okay, next next question. <laughs> Did any of you hear my speech yesterday? You regret saying that she is guilty of treason and deserving of death. Congressman, what do you th- what do you see as your role here going forward? <laughs> Basically, just to do things like this. <laughs> role is the job I got elected to do. Um, I'm going to vote very conservative, pro life, pro Second Amendment, pro border, pro America, pro American businesses, pro economy, pro jobs. When she'll be out of a job in 22 months, right? I mean, if she's not, then the country's really screwed. We need to reopen this country. We need to put kids back in schools. Keeping them at home is is killing our children. Well, that's Joe Biden's plan. Depression is high, suicide's high. We canceled prom, canceled graduation, canceled their lives. I'm going to be working hard on those policies 
and I'm going to be holding the Republican Party accountable and pushing them to the right. It's funny to be, talk about how pro-life she is. She hasn't mentioned the actual virus that's killing 4000 people a day other uh, at all, other than to say we need to reopen everything. Well, Matt, what do you say to those 11 Republicans? Thank you. Jen Pellegrino with OAN. You mentioned AOC, and I wanted to ask you about that. You know, <laughs> this question I'm guessing she'll like because it's from OAN. Your supporters commonly know you as MTG. Um, there's a lot of comparisons that could be made as a freshman in Congress making waves, um, receiving positive and negative attention on both sides of the aisle. Would you say that perhaps uh, you've maybe scared Democrats uh, in the media as well? In the same yeah. That AOC, when she stepped on the scene, uh, kind of made waves among Republicans? I'd say there's a comparison between us and, and the fact that we really don't care what other people think about us, because I can say that for myself. I've never met her, but I assume she probably feels that way. Um, but there's a major difference in us. AOC embraces policies of socialism to what you could call communism. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, absolutely. Give us the what's the, now just just I'm sure you have a list, Marjorie. What's the list of communist policies that AOC is advocating for? She wants to have she wants to have all the power. And then oh. the people that she claims she wants to help, okay. her policies would reduce them to poverty. Right. And they wouldn't have many freedoms left. So there's a big difference than, I, than right. us. Um, I support our Constitution and all of our freedoms, and I'll work very hard against her policies. And one more question, if I may. Yes, one more question. No, that's Is this a second OAN question in a row? Adam Kinzinger this morning on Twitter, and he said, he said there's no remorse, remorse here for your past comments, questions. just a huge desire to be famous. What do you say to him and the other 10 uh, Republicans that voted against uh, or voted for removing you from the committee? Well, there were 10 that that voted for impeachment against President Trump, and they definitely paid the price they heard from Republican voters. There were 11 that voted oh, against yeah. me yesterday, um, and that that's something that our leaders should be very upset about Kevin McCarthy and the rest of the Republican Party is working hard on taking back the majority. And when you have Republicans in the ranks voting against one of their own, opening the door for Democrats to go after every single Republican next, that that really is a big betrayal. So dumb. And that could cost us. At this point, I'm going to keep going because there's only two minutes, but majority in 22 people are very angry that's all i've heard from people all morning furious about that so i hope that my republican colleagues really think about what they've done i'm sure they're going to hear from their voters at home because the base is loyal to president trump and the base has been very loyal to me and they've shown me that my question is is there anything that you have done that you now want to say I'm sorry for, not just you regret or walk back, but is there anything you are sorry for saying in the past? Oh, of course. I'm sorry for saying all those things that are wrong and offensive. And and I sincerely mean that. And I'm I'm happy to say that. I think it's good to say say when we've done something wrong. So yeah, that's, that's easy for me. Which things though? Yes. <laughs> David Hogg was an adult when I talked to him. I don't think any of you have realized that. David Hogg uh, was working with the organization uh, that was, go they were going around working hard. The shooting victim she bullied was legally an adult, guys. It's fine. Who? How dare you criticize what she did? Four strict gun control laws. I'm very opposed to those policies. And so being in the same situation as David Hogg, my voice matters too. Oh, she's a victim like David Hogg. Oh, that's interesting. Thanks, Frank, for gifting 10 subs. I appreciate that. And so, no, I'm not sorry for telling him he shouldn't push for gun control. What we need to do is we need to protect our children. I think you're expecting we should protect our, our children and, and your baby as well. Um, with good guys with guns and not allow them to be sitting there sitting ducks. Yeah, yeah thank you. You, 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 you talked earlier about the media teaching people to hate, but wasn't it you who liked a page on Facebook a comment saying Nancy Pelosi should get a bullet to the head? And didn't, didn't you know, this reminds me of when you guys would ask President Trump. President Trump. She really wants to be just like Trump. Do you denounce white supremacy? And he would say, I denounce it. And then you would ask him again, and he would have to say, I denounce it. I mentioned, I have said it. You know, here's, here's the thing. When you stand back and stand by want to keep telling the same story over and over, but you don't want to tell the truth. That's your problem. And that's how we end press conferences. Okay. <laughs>
So I guess five questions, two from OAN. And uh, all right. So there's uh, there's Marjorie Taylor Greene. So that's that's that we made it through it.